waves lap onto lava rocks in Yoff, a suburb of Dakar. Overlooking it all is Kehinde Wiley's Black Rock, his home and a newly established artist residency program. Senegal occupies a really important place in my heart. I've got a lot of Senegalese friends and I came here years ago. First time I came to Senegal was in 1997, I was on a voyage to find my father. Wiley worked with a Senegalese architect and interior designers to create the space. Images from African photographers and artists line the walls, alongside works from the diaspora. The piece de résistance is a 20-foot door made of Cameroonian wood. The door plays on the door of no return, a door on Senegal's Gore Island, which signified a slave's last sight before leaving for the West. Wiley has dubbed his door the Door of Return. At its core, Black Rock is an artist residency program. Three multidisciplinary artists will stay for one to three month periods at a time. During their stay, they will not only push themselves, but also challenge their views on Africa's place and potential in the world of art. Black Rock is political. Black Rock is decidedly political, but in very unpredictable manner, in the way that art has always been unpredictable. Black Rock is not open only to artists of African descent. Black Rock is open to the world so that the world now sees Africa as a fulcrum point of inspiration. Art in all of its diverse forms has existed in Senegal for centuries. Pap Sisse has been painting since 1984. He's exhibited across Africa, as well as Europe and America. He remembers fondly the time of Senegal's first president, Léopold Sédar Senghor, when he says art was venerated. It's really important for us artists to have a site like this. I saw it online and haven't had the chance to visit it. It is a window for African art and that of the diaspora. I am sure things will get better with projects like this. For centuries, artists have drawn inspiration from West Africa's vibrant art scene. Wiley wants to instead make it a premier arts destination. The past, and we think about the work of Brock and Picasso, we think about people seeing as Africa as this menacing terror that allows them to be frightened and to discover newness within themselves. What happens if we see Africa as a home and a studio practice and a way of seeing not only yourself but the world? I think that's where revolution comes. It doesn't come in big fist-waving moments. I think it comes in these small moments of revolution. It's, it's like falling in love. And I want the world to fall in love with West Africa. Wiley will spread the mission of Black Rock to Nigeria, where he will set up another working studio. In the meantime, Black Rock Senegal stands as a studio, an artist residency program, and who knows, maybe a revolutionary love story. Astatal, CGTN, Dakar, Senegal.